So today we're going to look back. We are going to look back. We're going to show you some parts of our test vlogs. Um, unseen ever before by other eyes outside our family. Yeah, and there's absolutely no reason for that because they were brilliant, weren't they? They were bad. They were bad. We actually watched them and we got exceptionally bored. Yeah. Hopefully people don't get that bored when they're just watching the normal vlogs. They probably They maybe do. do. Yeah. yeah. Flashback because we've actually been doing this now for six months. Um, every single week, apart from the weeks that we were on holiday, and even then, we had some holiday weeks with vlogs in them. Yep. So um, we're we, going to cover things that we've learned, how we've changed, um, and you get to have a wee look at us being weird. We're also going to drink this bottle of wine. See, to be honest. We bought this a way back when we started vlogging because we thought it would be quite funny to vlog about. We're not super pumped about the marketing of this um, and it's really quite hard to put our finger on why. One of the key lessons we've learned from doing this wonderful vlogging experience is that you shouldn't really um, make any presumptions. Yeah, don't judge a wine by its bottles. It smells pretty inoffensive. It's not, it's not really a giant smell that I like. No, no, I'm okay with that. It smells like red wine, you know. It's nice. <laughs> Can I tell you something? Mm-hmm. I'll see what you think first. You know? You don't want to like that. But what do you it's really think? It's not as bad yeah. as I thought it was going to be. Do you know what? This wine, I think... And I... do you know what? It's terrible because I had a whole joke that I was going to do because I stashed a spare bottle <laughs> ready to open it because we were going to say, oh, that was terrible and um, what, fucked it. I, what I would say is I got this for like £6.50 or something like that. Right. Um, and see for £6.50, that's really pretty decent. I don't love this wine. But it's not a zero, it's like a six. Mm. And we were hoping it was a zero. I'm, but not, I'm not even six in this, I'm, I'm like... Six point nine-ing this. And we've... Fucked her. Um, it's nothing special, but, but it's... We, it's nothing... We, we're not recommending not as, this wine. And it's I don't a, want to recommend it because it's got a frosted bottle. It freaks me out. I worry that this guy massacred some Aboriginals. You know, that's that's my main worry. That is what I would be concerned about. Yeah, threw them from their lands. I mean, seriously. I also, anyway. I had to put it back on. So we have seen a, we actually have seen a lot of people like post about this wine on the internet. And they're all boys that I've seen post. And all boys who don't typically drink red wine. So maybe it's good that it brings people to red wine. So we're gonna show you a little bit of footage from our test vlogs. Um the other key thing that I really took from watching these back was um that people lie to you because they told us that these were good and they were bad. And they said, yeah, they're good, you should put them on the internet. And this is how we ended up in this mess. So one of the things that we've learned since starting to film this vlog, uh, you know, minor things about wines and areas that produce wine and different grapes and things like that. And apparently Valpolicella is not a grape. Who knew? Who knew? Valpolicella. Yeah. Okay, the grape is Valpolicella and the area is Valpolicella. Yeah. We also drank wine once a week. So and I've been dreaming about this for five days. It's now Friday night. It's time to enjoy grape juice. Half a bottle of wine per glass. Can you even imagine that? How many times a week do we drink wine now? Every night. Also saw a few things that we still do, which is um, I get told off for doing things in the wrong order. It also smells kind oh, of... Oh, I just tasted it. <laughs> Ahead of time. 
<laughs> I kind of licked the rim. Yeah. Also, we found out how to angle cameras so that it looks like your flat is tidy. How much our wine collection has grown because, as you can see in this clip, that there's like two layers of our wine rack. Now we have. Bing, 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 bing. Nice one. Yeah. You can, you can never mm. tell that it's been made in the earth. Mm. Obviously, at some point, we heard the words mid palate. I think it was for watching so many Gary Vaynerchuk um, vlogs or podcasts or whatever you would call them. And we were um, obsessed with So we were obsessed palette. with our mid palate. So mid palate. Mid palate. The mid palate. Mid palate. Mid palate. It's totally fine. Shiraz in there. Mm -hmm. Like, undoubtedly, there's Shiraz in there. We also found. The clip where we devise, we originally devise our scoring system. It's a very intricate thought process. process. Out of ten, what would you give it? Or do you want to do a full hundred point scale? No, because we don't know how to do that. Well, you can just make say it up. a number. No, we're gonna do it out of ten. From what I get, ten out of ten, and no seven. Five is bad. Yeah, no sevens. You can't have a seven. It's either six, eight, nine, or ten. Okay, so I'm giving it an eight. Also, that Jane was there from the very very beginning. Mm -hmm. Even before you knew that we were talking about you on the internet, Jane, we were talking about you on the internet just through private links. So weird. <laughs> <baby>. <laughs> Lovely Jane in the good spirits also advised that we should try this because A, it's quite cost effective and two, if we like an Amarone, we might like that. And eight and two. <laughs> we really don't have a clue. Yeah, I'm really excited to watch like what we what we've been filming lately in six months time and realise how little we knew. We decided at the start of this vlog that instead of waiting till we got all of our like wine qualifications and did all our wine stuff that we would just kinda evolve alongside these kind of videos. The point wasn't to come on and be like, Oh, we know all this stuff about wine here it is because frankly you can Google that. Um the point is, like, we're, we're going to learn as we go along. And uh, rather than being like, oh, we're going to wait six months before we can start this vlog because we have to learn all this shit. We we're going to start the vlog. And by starting the vlog, we're going to we're gonna learn loads of stuff and have a nice time. You uh, should always just pull the trigger on things. Just do it. And uh, Louise has decided to edit the vlogs, which it, at it, first she didn't. I didn't. I just let it ramble. And it was not, it was not awesome. Mm -mm. It was exceptionally boring. Lots of moments where we're sitting like this. There's a lot of Heather sniffing. A lot. We've had really nice people say really nice things. And all of that stuff really contributes to us, our master goal, which we haven't revealed until now. Oh, yeah. We haven't actually told anyone what our, what our end game is. We want to own a vineyard. No, that's not it. I think that is a good end goal. That's not our end game. What is our end game? Having Adele on the vlog. That's the vlog end game. Oh, right. Right. <laughs> But our master end game. I'm glad we've talked about this. <laughs> Owning a vineyard, really. Seems like a lot of hard work. You and I like hard work. And then we could have all our pals come and help and we could give everybody free wine. That seems like a good plan. I want the Adele thing. We also would like Adele on the show. If anybody knows Adele, could you phone her? Yep. We would like her as a guest. We'll use her intro music in the montage and everything. It'll give her free publicity. Yep. Which she totally needs. Yep. What has been your favourite thing about having a vlog, Heather? Oh, I think discovering my talent as a presenter. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's been meeting, meeting cool people. Um, what's been your favourite episode? Oh, the Tintin episode. Really? Not your mum episode? Oh, shit. Mm. I think my favourite episode is coming up. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I need to get that chicken out of there. Oh, okay. so is that... Are, are we finished? Okay, uh, so we give this 9.3 on average. Louise tends to score more enthusiastically than I do, so... Taking a nap, but definitely, if you're sitting in on a Saturday night, I think this is good, and you have it with some cheese or something like that, and it's sappiness. Um, anyway, if you manage to make it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. Uh, so it's the Tomasi Repasso. It's blue. It's 2014. We like it. It's quite we young. give it at least an 8.5 on average.